Hey guys, Red Llama here. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about this NVIDIA RTX LHR version 2 unlocker, which is meant to fully unlock the LHR cards for full hash rate. However, this has been proven to be a huge virus. Well, not huge, but multiple viruses. And uh, it was confirmed by Red Panda and also by Chum Change. I will put a link in the description to their live feed of this when they had tried it with Yeti. Yeti had uh, opened it up and was taking a look at what it was reaching out for, but basically the point of this video is to kind of just talk through what you need to do if you already have downloaded this virus. Now if you already have downloaded this and you already installed it, so you have a few options. Uh, I'm sorry to say it, but, but yeah, there's only a few options left over if you really want to get rid of this. And let's first take a look at what this is supposed to do. It's meant to fully unlock your LHR cards, boost up the the hash rate on ETH or Ethereum, and uh, yeah, it, this is it's a pretty elaborate uh, detailed instructions on how to do it. And this is a GitHub that was only created recently in Poland. And let's see if I click on here, this person's only being only joined GitHub five days ago. And they include quite, quite a bit of information in here, but it looks like it's only down to the readme file. Everything else is gone. So the files Oh, it's download here. So if you went here and downloaded this, oh no, I don't want to download this crap. Uh, don folder. I'm gonna delete that. Get it off my system. Oh man, that's that was scary. Yeah, do not download that. Do not install it. Do not unzip it. If you already did, then there's a few things you need to do to to stay safe. And that's a, the first thing would be to disconnect your internet completely disconnect everything um, make sure that you unplug it or you turn off Wi-Fi or if you go straight into airplane mode on your computer and just get rid of all connections externally and make sure you even unplug the internet port after you've done all that next what you need to do is if you have wallets on your, your computer what you need to do is go to your wallets one by one and let's see like I have a Ethereum uh, wallet I have a few different wallets here you need to go through and kind of open these up and back up your wallet and just basically after you do this delete everything off the computer there's a bunch of YouTube videos on how to completely wipe your your drive which is probably what you're going to need to do after you download this virus and install it um, I think there's no other option if you want to maintain your assets on your computer. Uh, you, you're going to need to encrypt all your, your wallets. You're going to need to um, back it up, get the fast raise, and bring it into another computer. And then start thinking about different ways to get these wallets onto like a VM server. Or if you're doing any types of tests, um, get it off the main computer that you're using daily. And get it onto like a separate PC or a laptop. That that way, your these wallets are secured. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I think this is a good uh, um good way to get fully aware of the possibility of viruses and hacks of your PC with the wallets. Um, just because of this um LHR scam that's been put out there, I think it's made some of the new newer miners kind of realize that okay like we need to secure these wallets because <laughs> we're gonna get screwed if we keep them on here and continue doing testing for other types of coins miners and everything like that so uh, yeah so i think that's pretty much the only options you guys have disconnect the internet secure your wallets encrypt them and then bring them over to a different computer or just completely wipe out your whole hard drive and get rid of that virus.
That's all you guys could do. <laughs> Sorry to, to say it that way, but maybe there's other ways, but probably that, that's the safest way with everything. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. Please hit the like button. Uh, make sure you get this content out to anyone else that's tried this and they're realizing that you know they shouldn't have downloaded it and they unzipped it and install it. Uh, if you have, you're at big risk and you need to find a way to get rid of it. I'll see you guys in the next one. And Sorry, this is not the best video, but at least I wanted to get something out there just so people could start wiping their drives. Right, see ya.